16. So I'm gonna give you like the rundown with this vehicle. Cause I'm like, so my feelings are so hurt about it. And part of it's my fault, but it is what it is. Okay. So when my dad came to visit me um, and my brother and my niece or whatever, um, he owns like a, a little you a car a used car dealership in North Carolina. So he has the ability to go to the like go to these auctions. Oh my god, he's not driving crazy. He has the ability to go to these auctions and get these cars. Um, so when he came, he bought me a little hoopty. So my dad is the type of person like I'm. I mean, my my dad. I mean, he's military retired. Um, he has a business. I'm pretty sure if he wanted to, he probably could have just got me like a nice car. But that's just not how my dad is. But I definitely appreciate him getting me something to hold me over. It's literally what this car was. Give me something to hold, hold me over. So it was a 1990, um, 96 Honda Accord. So it's an old ass car. And you know, when you get cars from these auctions, like you never know what's wrong with them. So something could be wrong with the engine. You wouldn't even know until like you took it to a mechanic. So pretty much since I've had the car, um, it's been nothing but heartache. So apparently this vehicle, um, it, it just keeps overheating. So I kept having to take it to the shop and I kept having to put money in it. It was a salvage vehicle. So in California, California got like all type of like stupid annoying laws that like just give me a headache. So in California, in order for you to register a salvage vehicle, you have to go through all these extra tests that nobody has to go through. And they think they call I think they call it like a break and lamp test or something like that. So I had to do all that crap, but then my dad was like, you know, just forget it. I just register it. I just register the car in North Carolina, South okay. Carolina, and send you off to place or whatever. So that's what he ended up doing. So I'm I was sent with all that crap. But then the car keeps having issues where it's overheating. So I ended up having to um, take it to the shop a couple times. The first time it was like the hose, so I got the hose replaced. I'm, not, I'm a really horrible camera person. So the first time it was the hose, I got the hose replaced. The second time I took it, um, the fan stopped working, so they replaced the fans. The third time I took it, they said it was the radiator cap wasn't holding pressure, so they replaced the radiator cap. So then this last time, they said the radiator was cracked, so I paid like 300 and, and with a discount. So I ended up paying like $300 to get the radiator fixed because I just needed I needed the car to be fixed because I needed the car to go to a meeting that was like kind of out of town. So when I picked up my car from the place, and I was kind of upset about this, um, the guy was like, he was like, oh, tomorrow can you drop it by real quick? So I, because we want to check for this real quick um, and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, okay. So I bring it back and then they look at it for like 20 minutes and he explains it to me and he was like, well, it looks like like the radiator is not, ne the, the radiator is just gonna end up cracking again because there's something wrong with the engine or something he said. And I'm looking at him and anytime there's something wrong with the engine, you just gotta get a hold of the car. It's like, it's like the engine is pretty much like the brain of the car and if it doesn't work, then you just have to get a hold of the car. So I'm pissed off because they literally, like, I'm pretty sure, like, they had an idea what was going on before they made me pay $300 to get a fix. So, here we are this morning on my day off going to see what type of car I can get. Uh, I'm currently going through a divorce, so I'm not sure. My brother looked at my credit yesterday and he said, it's, like, I, we got, like, a detailed report and he pretty much said that my credit is not that bad apparently these people with way worse credit but what do i know but yeah so i brought him with me so i don't get gypped on a vehicle because apparently people like to gyp people they don't know anything about cars or financing cars I don't even know like what kind of car I want. I know when I looked at the pictures for this particular dealership, they had a car like yours. No, I think it was like a yeah. What, what type of car is this? It's a Challenger. Maybe had it was a Challenger, but it was a 2012 and it had two doors instead of one. Yeah, the Challenger's two doors. Challenger's look cool. The Challenger the, that body style was not good. There's so many rules that had to take that back. That's why she got the Camaro. Oh, you know what she did tell me about that. So, yeah, she kept having issues there with recall yeah, and all type of weird stuff. Don't, don't I forgot that, about that. that I completely out. forgot about that's that. Why, that's probably why it's so cheap. It was like 15000 It was pretty cheap. 
But it was nice. It was all black, all black interior. Yeah, black on black. Oh my god, it was so nice. But now I don't want it now. That should tell me that. I could barely sleep last night because I was nervous as hell. I thought it was going to be a lot more sore after the gym. Oh, I forgot to drink my chocolate milk. I was lacking. I drank like a, a, a freaking yogurt thing yesterday. I'm not as sore as I thought I was going to be. I feel, I kind of feel like I'm not going to feel it until tomorrow. The best, the, I'm telling you, the best, the best protein shake is chocolate milk. I don't like chocolate milk. I feel like I feel like as a kid I drank like so much damn chocolate milk that like by the time I came to dough I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit I don't like anymore because we used to like eat yeah, it all, all the time, the time as yeah. a kid. Like, like Pop Tart. No, stroganoff. Stroganoff. No, I hate oh, I fucking my. hate stroganoff. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> if people, if anybody makes stroganoff, I'm like, I'm not eating it. My old roommate. Okay. So found a car that I really really like and I'm praying to sweet baby Jesus that I get it Traffic So the issue is, is that right now I'm going through the divorce and my ex he still has the car that we financed together in his name and They're not um, this is my first time one where like as soon as I close it it cuts off so on my way back from the dealership um I wasn't able to vlog on the way back, but I have to go back to drop off like the rest of my down payment for the car. So I guess I can tell y'all how yesterday went. Okay, so as you saw in the beginning of the video, we're actually like heading towards the dealership. So what I ended up doing, there's this place called, what was it called? It was called Drive Time. And I found it because I was like looking for places that finance cars with like lower credit score. Cause right now, like my credit is kind of like, uh, it's not like, it's like there's people that have way worse credit than me, but it's kind of like, kind of bad. It's kind of low because I'm going through a divorce. And then my ex, he still has that car in my name and he hasn't got a refinance which we're working on so when I like left him um, like he was kind of like late on like two payments or whatever you have it so um, what ended up happening we went to the place called drive time and I'm just gonna give y'all the full rundown of drive time because it's it's I wouldn't yeah okay so we go to drive time and like my brother is like really big on cars like he is like he knows a lot about cars and I didn't want to go car searching by myself because I just didn't want to get screwed over because I don't really like I have an idea about cars but like I don't know enough to where I felt comfortable going to this dealership and not being screwed over right so um we end up going to drive time i kind of like made an appointment but my brother was like you shouldn't have made an appointment he's like you don't make appointments go to car dealerships you just you know you just show up and you know look at cars or whatever and he told me like flat out he was like um damn i guess i could have gone three way that way he told me flat out he was like um if they are talking like some ridiculous deal he was like prepared to leave and I was just like okay whatever but at the same time like I knew like my situation I knew that okay I still have a car that's financed in my name and they're probably gonna want a coat a coat um signer and I know that my credit is a little bit low but at the same time like when I ran my credit like as I, I got a detailed report before I went up there and like I don't like I have a whole bunch of student loans that are paid off and um, I don't have any bills in my name, so I was just like, whatever, you know, let me try. I was like, worst case scenario, like, I'm pretty sure, uh, like, somebody will let me finance, like, a little cheap, like, 5000 car or whatever. $5,000 car, you know, at this point, like, you know, I just need a reliable car because my other car, like, I re I'm so pissed because I replaced the something in it, and it's still going to, it's the... I, I replaced the radi radiator in my other car, and it's just going to go through the same issue again. So, 
we go to drive time or whatever and we pull up to the parking lot and like nobody's in the parking lot you know most dealerships you see like the reps like standing outside or something right so i was just like okay cool whatever so um we go outside we look at some of the cars um i saw like a kia and I've been, I kind of been wanting a Kia, but I think it's because like one of my guy friends, he has one and I thought it was really nice because they're small, but they're like spacious and they're kind of like, I don't know, like, cause I don't want a truck, but I want something that has like space in it. So like that particular car, I felt like, okay, well it would have like, you know, a good bit of space in there, whatever you have it. So, um, I looked at, they had like a couple of those out there and then they had a Dodge Charger of course I wanted a Dodge Charger. It was all black, it had rims, I think it was like a 2012, and I had looked at it online. I saw it online, and I was just like, fuck, like I really want that damn car. Cause I've been wanting, cause my brother has a Charger, and I've been wanting one since like forever. I just think they're nice looking cars, even though like they, do. but at the same time I told myself, if I ever bought a Charger, it would always be second. It would always be, it would always be used, because Chargers, like their value, like they depreciate way too fast. But anyway, so I was just like, okay, cool got an idea some of the cars i'm gonna look at whatever so we're looking we we're probably out there like 10 15 minutes like we hadn't even like nobody even came outside so we went inside and they had a little um receptionist and i was like hi my name is so-and-so um, i made an appointment but we're kind of late because of traffic whatever she's like oh yeah that's fine blah blah so there's this dude at like one of his desks. There's probably like, there's a good bit of people in there working. Like it's probably like four people working like, and they're all at their little desk or little cubicle. So one of this, this dude, he comes from his little cubicle or whatever. And you know, he comes to introduce himself. He's like, my name is such and such. Oh, his name was Jonathan. And my brother was like cracking jokes. Like he was like, oh, like my, he's like, I'm Jonathan too. Cause my brother's name is Jonathan. Cause my brother, my brother's annoying as hell. Like if y'all think that I'm like on Twitter, if you think like I'm an annoying troll, like my brother is like that 10 times in real life in person and that's just how he is so he introduces himself or whatever um and the guy brings us to his desk and like he's not really like going i don't know like it was just a weird interaction so like he asks for my id or whatever he puts my information then he asks for my social so he's kind of like running like my credit before he even looks at like the number look it's like he's talking about numbers before even showing me the car but i'm like i knew like coming in there like okay well this is a place for people that need cars and they probably finance anybody type of place so i'll just like whatever so we go to the damn, pl um, so we, he asked for my information, my email and all that stuff, runs a check. So he pulls in my credit score. My credit score was like, it was pretty bad. It was like 576 or whatever, and which I knew, but I'm actually, I was actually surprised. I thought it was lower than that, but apparently it's, it rose since I've been in California and since I've been working and just paying off credit cards and haven't had any fucking bills. So, um, he, what should I call it? Okay, so he, he does all that he comes back with the check or whatever and he was like okay well with your credit score um, we'll need like at least like a thousand down and my brother was like no zero down da, 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 da. but he was just being annoying because he felt like that place was sketchy so he was just saying dumb shit to anyone so he was like no we're just gonna do zero down he was like no like you know with her like he was looking at him like dude so he was like with her credit score like she would at least have to put at least at the minimum a thousand which was fine i had already put some, like like 1500 to the side in my head that I was gonna put down anyway but I was just like whatever so I was just listening to what he had to say because I'm type of, like I'm a salesperson so I don't want to be that person you know being rude or whatever even though like I thought they were sketchy so like um he tells me like what's all required and um how like they do they can they can do payments every two weeks and it help you know um with the with the ARP, like it was just all type of weird stuff he was explaining, and he was explaining gap insurance, and like just stuff that I knew about already, so I was just like, okay, whatever. So then he was like, um, did you know what car you're interested in? And I'm like, yeah. So I kind of like grabbed my bag, because I think we about to go outside and look at these damn cars. Tell me why this dude turned his computer screen around for me to look at the computer screen, look at all the computers, look at all the cars they have, they have on the computer screen. So I was just like, okay so i was like um i was like i was interested in that um the charger and he was like okay 
He's like, I think that might be reserved. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what, just like, what you mean it might be reserved? And he was like, he, he's like, I think I'm, I was like, I think it might be reserved. And I was just like, okay. And he's like, yeah, we have a layaway program for our cars. And like me and my brother like looked at each other like, dude, like what the hell are you talking about? So he gets on his little computer and he finds the damn car and it says on his computer it says revert reserves. So I was just like, okay. And then he was like, was there any other vehicle you're interested in? And I was like, not really. But in my mind, like this must this MF telling me like a car is freaking like reserved on layaway that kind of like turned me off from even wanting to even get a car from there i've never heard of a car being on layaway like what the hell so i was just like okay and i was like well i was like i take your business card and we'll be back if anything and in my mind i was like i'm most likely not going to come back with whatever so so we end up going to there was a toyota dealership right next to the place like literally like two like businesses down so we go there because we already had a game plan like we had woke up early we knew it was going to be all day thing so we ended up going to um the car place next right next the toyota place right next to it and it was like literally um So we look at cars, a few cars, and I was like, okay, all right. like I like I like these cars, but I don't like these cars. So we ended up going back to this one that I had um, originally like first like sat in and checked out, and then we ended up he ended up letting me test drive this one. And as soon as I test drive, okay, I was like, I'm in love. I was like, I want this car. This is the car that I want. So. Um, sat down with the guy. Um, we talked about numbers. He's like, I'm gonna try to do this, that, and a third, and get you at this. I was like, okay, cool. So, um, 
I guess they have like their like above the people that sells the car. I, I don't know what they call them, but they have somebody above them that talk to the customers about numbers. So the guy came back and he was like, "We see that you're financing the car and this, that, and the third. And I was like, "Yeah, I was like, that's I'm going through a divorce right now. It's my hex." Um, and he was like, "Well, we're kind of having a, a, a little bit of a difficult time because you never had a car in your name, and we need we may need a co-signer." And I was like, okay, I understand. I was like, just see what you can do. Um, he was trying to get my brother the cosign, but my brother already has two cars in his name, and I'm not trying to get my brother the cosign on anything with me. But at the same time, what helped me out was the fact that um, I had a whole bunch of student loans that or this dude is going to try to raise me. I don't know who he is. He's going to sign on. It's so fucking irritating. Irritating. He's try to raise me. So the thing that helped me was the fact that I don't have any bills. Like since I've been here, like I don't, like I live with my family, I live with my brother's wife's family. And like really the only thing I pay is like, I pay rent and I pay like some of the utilities, but like it's nothing like substantial. Like I don't have any real bills. Like, the only thing I've been paying since I've been out here is like credit cards. And, like that's like, I don't have any like bills in my name or anything. And then apparently I have a whole bunch of student loans that I paid off and I didn't even know that I paid off. I must have, um, damn, I must have set something up to where it was coming on my check before I got it and just didn't know about it. But anyway, so long story short, they're willing to work with me and try to find me a bank because I don't have any bills and I'm in a position where I need a car or whatever you have it. I live here and I need a car and I'm going through a divorce, blah, 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 and I don't have any bills. I don't have any written my name. I don't have anything in my name. So they were... Yeah, so what ended up happening, we waited a couple hours. We were there to like, maybe like two. Um, they were like, well. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Take exit 605. I ended up driving home and I was like a nervous, I was a nervous wreck. So my brother went home and I was telling him like, I'm kind of worried they're not gonna let me get a car and this and a third. And the guy at the place told me, he's like, well, you made good money. So we had to get like an override to do this because first they're trying to tell us no, that you can't finance another car unless you have a co-signer. So, but we got them to override it. So now we're just trying to find you a bank. So um, I ended up calling, they ended up calling us back and they were like, do you have like utility bill in your name and I, my brother was like she has no bills like she has nothing in her name and they're like a credit card bill and I was like the only thing I have is a credit card bill so I ended up bringing my credit card bill they made copies of that um, so they did all the paperwork for it and now I'm just waiting for everything to be finalized so the guy was like um, he's like you know we're not in the business to let you take home a car and then make you bring come bring it back he was like for them to do this paperwork, we're, we're sure we'll get you approved for this, that, and the third, or do or work something out. And I was just like, okay. So, um, I'm in the car. But I have a feeling what they're gonna end up doing, because like within the grace period, I think they're gonna probably ask for like more money down, um, just to make sure I'm serious about it, because they did the same thing when me and my ex had got our Acura truck. They they waited till we got paid again be, between the, um, the car payment and we're like, hey, can you put like another like $500, $700 down? And I already put like, I'm putting $2,000 down on this car. So it was just like, okay. But yeah, so that's what I'm on my way to do now. I'm on my way to go get paperwork, whatever. Um, but I was like nervous all day yesterday and like just praying about it. I didn't even think I was going to be able to get this nice of a car, but I 
guess the, the situation is that I, I do make like pretty good money and I don't have any bills. So I was just like, okay, whatever. And then like the APR was like high as crap. I don't even want to tell you guys what the APR was. APR was high, but it was worse than my truck. And I have in Hawaii. So I was like, whatever. I was like, I can, you know, build up my credit. Is this going to help me build my credit back up? Because I'm trying to fix my credit. And then um, once I do that, I can just refinance or I can trade it in and just get another car. And the guy was like, yeah, you can just trade and get another car. He was like, even if, if the car costs, costs more, you can like get your payments lowered or whatever you have. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. And I told him, I was like, yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm trying to get a car at this point is to help with my credit. Like I could, I could just sit around and just save up more money and just buy a car, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted something reliable, but then this has something has a warranty on it so and it's a newer car and I feel and with this I don't have to like having all the stuff that I have on it I don't have to worry about having to come out of pocket for all type of stupid stuff like that hoopty was like stressing me out like it was always overheating um it was like always needed something for it and I just felt like every time I went to go check it out I feel like they were giving me a, the runaround with it, and I was just, it was just stressing me out. I was like, I need a reliable car. I was like, I have me, I have sometimes I have meetings where I have to drive to LA, and like that car was overheating. It was to the point where like if I sit, if I stood too long in one area, like my car would start overheating, and I'm just like, man, like I can't keep doing this. This car is like stressing me the fuck out. So yeah, so I ended up doing that, and I'm pretty pretty excited so I'm hoping everything works out I've been praying about it dude I freaking hate 18 wheelers is this guy gonna like get over he's talking on his phone only in California like freaking 18 wheelers drive as crazy as they do here Definitely talk to you guys later. Please do not forget to 